ज्यूमर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से एक बहुत ही बैलेंस बजट है उम्मीद है कि प्राइजेस नहीं बढ़ेंगे क्योंकि कंज्यूमर को चाहिए कि प्राइजेस ना बढ़े पहली चीज दूसरी चीज ये है कि जो ये डिजिटल डिजिटल करेंसी और डिजिटलाइजेशन के लिए अगर बढ़ावा मिलेगा उससे कंज्यूमर को बहुत ज्यादा फायदा मिलने वाला है अभी क्या है कि हम हम लोग काफी फेक सामान खरीदते हैं क्योंकि बिल वो लोग नहीं देते अगर हम डिजिटल ही खरीदते हैं वो बिल दे या ना दें तो हमारे पास पेमेंट प्रूफ आ गया तो इट इज एटोमेटिक बिल The Union Budget 2022-23 presented by Finance Minister Mrs Nirmala Sitharaman on 1st day of February 2022 highlighting key features of the annual financial statement said that the people friendly has made adequate provisions for India's upcoming digital currency keeping in mind the rapidly changing financial scene that is increasingly dealing with cryptocurrencies non-fungible tokens NFTs and other forms of digital assets The Prime Minister said that it is extremely important for India as a modern nation to be self-reliant. The nation's economy is continuously expanding in the direction of modernity, he said. Digital payments will be regulated much like standard currency is regulated by the Reserve Bank of India (RBI). The Prime Minister said such payments are more secure, efficient and safe and goes a long way towards paving the way for a global digital payments infrastructure. Digital currencies are electronic forms of currency issued by the government while cryptocurrencies are a store of value that is secured by encryption. Digital rupee is basically the digital form of regular currency that we use for daily transactions. You can store the money digitally in a secured format. Digital rupee is powered by blockchain technology which makes currency management cheaper, allowing the government to print less notes in the future. Digital money or digital currency refers to any means of payment that exists in a purely electronic form. Digital money is exchanged using technologies such as smartphones, credit cards. We need digital currency because it can make the financial system safer, allowing individuals, private sector companies and non-bank financial institutions to settle directly in central bank money rather than bank deposits. Significantly reduces the concentration of liquidity and credit risk in payment systems. advantages that digital currency have over cash are it more secure it is decentralized and autonomous and it is fast we can make mobile payments and online payments there is peer to peer transactions hence no need to carry cash there is online receipt of payment as there hence becomes consumer friendly minimal fees discreet and confidential safer for merchants a digital currency for merchants backed by merchants goods and services Types of digital currencies include cryptocurrency, virtual currency and central bank digital currency. Digital currency may be recorded on a distributed database on the internet, a centralized electronic computer database owned by a company or bank within digital files or even on a stored value card. The countries who use digital currency at present are Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St Kitts and Nevis, St Lucia, Dominica and Montserrat. The island nations which jointly operate the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank have all adopted the bank's Dcash digital currency. The digital currency is for the benefit of consumers it will be widely accepted and welcomed by all. Thanks a lot of watching the video please feel free to give suggestion send motivational videos for the of benefit society raise your voice by making and sending plays stories etc let us create awareness together please feel free to call us if you require any help you can also be a part of our team or channel as a member or associate please call us our contact phone no at 9818003999 or on another phone no at 9540003999 or email at info.consumertimes@gmail.com visit our website www.consumertimes.in please like this video please like share and subscribe our channel will motivate our team to work hard thank you